Hi everyone, Alice Brown and Lady V here bringing you our weekly update and it's been an interesting week. <laughs> we uh, Let me just state at the beginning that we do not have any new progress to be shared on Rubenmeyer Dragons of Dragnos 5 and that is because it's been so long that when I went back to read what I had written a couple weeks ago I was doing a Alice what in the world were you <laughs> thinking moment and I've decided to go back and rewrite a lot of that again so we're still in the process of cleaning that up and getting us caught back up where we need to be and we're currently going through and rereading the ending of Remethus to make sure we line everything up because as you might well know from our previous videos that this vi this this video <laughs> this book picks up in the exact same time zone as book four, four. it's just like yes. an alternate story in that time zone yes so we're having to make sure we know where we left everything off in book four and then we're rereading what we wrote originally and obviously rewriting what we wrote originally yes for the beginning of Ruben Meyer and then we're just kind of making sure that we have our outline because that was something we realized when we went to get back into writing that we actually did not have we had forgotten to outline this story yes it is so which is we, a, a yeah. very big mistake on our so part <laughs> we will be uh sharing updates as we go get along but you know in the process of everything it is december and we have just come off of two months of heavy heavy shows mm -hmm. which just about anything and everything got ignored i've gotten the house cleaned up and we've gotten it decorated and you know everything cleaned but my seasonal allergies thank you heavily for that you're welcome <laughs> But we also did not have a lot of time to spend with loved ones and friends and we're trying to go back and rectify that and get together with them for the holidays and in the process of everything we've had um we've been able to play what do you, would you call it secret santa this week yes yeah, <laughs> we that have, was very fun yes we have somebody that uh, has had a very very rough year and we've known about it and so there is a secret package to them so they should be getting in the next day or two. Yeah, that'll, be, that'll be very nice. <laughs> and then we have another friend who is going through some emotional turmoil right now. And we were able to sit her down and hopefully get her on the right track of everything and back on the track of yeah, life. Yeah, sometimes it's nice just to, I mean, you know, dealing with depression yourself. You, you can't exactly just sit there and listen. So you end up sitting there crying with them. But I think it was sometimes a good cleansing Sometimes that's what cry. it's needed, yes. Yeah, she sometimes came over, we needed. popped a bottle of wine, had a good cry out, and some good laughs, too. The, end, the night did end with yes. laughs. Yes, yes. It was a very good sometimes time. Sometimes Christmas isn't about the gifts you give or the decorations in your house. It's reaching out to those in need. Your fellow man. Yeah. Your fellow human. Because, you know, sometimes Christmas isn't always fun and glitzy and you know for everybody people who suffer from depression especially uh this can be a very sad time for them of the year i i know i went through my own little meltdown a couple days ago mm -hmm. but it had nothing to do with my life or anything because everything is pretty much good in my life it was more the fact that my show season had come to an end and Alice is just sitting there looking at me like, you're crying because you're going on break. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> when, yeah, but when you've hit the ground running so much as we did, um, you know, to try to take a step back isn't the easiest thing to no. do. Especially I, I'm, when I'm it good. hits you, bam, you're going, go, 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 but and then you hit the brick wall and you're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty much what it felt like for us. Yeah, w Wiley C Coyote running into the brick wall. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but changing the subject we do want to introduce you all to our feature artists of the month yes and this is somebody that we originally met last year while we were doing shows uh we met her in greenville didn't we yeah greenville greenville uh north carolina at a uh show that we did there and then she ended up being our neighbor right across the aisle uh, from us at Christmas Carousel and was there again this year too. So it Same was spot really too. good it, it to was great. see each other. But this woman started um, the Women of Hope. Women of Hope. When, Women of Hope was created to disciple the people of Guatemala and help them rise above the challenges of poverty, illiteracy, and a culture of abuse and oppression. Since the beginning in 2012, Women of Hope has grown from two to 25 artisans, impacted 50 plus families through employment, sponsored 12 plus students, six in university. Now, what happens is, is these ladies of, of Guatemala make a lot of handmade items. 
Um, and these that I'm showing are just a few. We bought several Christmas ornaments from them. There's one. And here is another. It's a bell. And it even has a little <laughs> bell in it inside. And these were all beaded work. As many of yes. you know, Lady V and I did beading um, back quite a number of years ago. We did. Um, so to see the level of skill that are that is in this, that are in these ornaments, is astounding. Because we know firsthand that this stuff is not easy to make. Yeah, the, these do take quite a bit of time and patience and intricacy. It is a lot of work, and yes. these women are absolutely phenomenal at it. Yes, they are. Um, each one of the decorations came with a little uh, card telling you who had had made the ornament. So um, from here we have Veronica, Natalie, and Veronica. And Veronica. Yeah, two Veronicas. <laughs> two. They're two different Veronicas because there's two different pictures. But I think that is cool. Uh, this woman is, that started this, um, Tina is her Tina, name. Tina, yes. She, Lovely woman. Yes, she she is. She is the sweetest lady I've ever met. And she started this 10 years ago. I'm, I know she has a church that helps her, mm -hmm. that stands behind her. But she is a citizen of the United States. But she lives in Guatemala. And uh, is more like a, I, for lack of a better word, missionary is yes, what missionary. I, I would use. And she comes back to the States once a year and has, you know, different craft shows and stuff lined up to sell all these and then takes the money back uh, to help these women of Guatemala after they replenish their uh, supplies and everything, spreads the wealth out to help them get by throughout the year. So mm -hmm. it's a very, very good endeavor. We are going to put all their information on the front website on the front of the website that. and down in the description below in this video we highly ask that you go share some love go order a christmas item from them if it's just to go on your tree or a fellow friend neighbor or family member's tree mm -hmm. yeah i've, I've got another love. um another gift that i bought and because it's a gift i don't want to show it on here because i don't want the person to know what they got so <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, yeah, definitely share some love. Very, very good, worthwhile endeavor. Yes. Um, and, and this woman is, uh, she runs circles around me. She's, she's incredible. <laughs> she is. <laughs> okay, back to our schedule. Um, we have one last show. The final show final of the year. Final show of the year, and that is coming up this Saturday, the 10th um, mm -hmm. of December. And that is the little Geek and Grub show that we do at Fred Fletcher Park. It's 11 to 3. This is your absolute last opportunity to come see us, pick out a dragon statue, pick out a mug, pick out a book, get it signed, whatever it is yep. you want to do and you need, come see us. Uh, after that, we will be down for a couple months. Yep. Much, much needed rest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like um, I'm running on steam right now. I'm just ready to I'm just ready to crash into the couch yeah. and well, stay there for a couple of weeks. And, and in regards to that, we have already, we're close enough to the year end that we've already started looking back over the year to, you know, judge what we need to adjust for the following year. And I will say that there are a couple of shows that we will not be returning to. Not that these shows, not that there was anything wrong with the shows at all, but we bit off a little bit more than we could chew especially in the month of october mm -hmm. and so i'm going to take a little bit of a step back most of the shows we will continue doing but there are one or two that were just mm, so so and i'm like you know what our health is more important let's uh, especially if i had two in the same areas uh, um that those are the ones that i tried going okay which one could we take a step back from to make it a little bit easier from us so if you do not see the show listed that you met us at um, for next year's schedule. Don't think that there was anything wrong with it. That is not the case at all. It is just the case that we have to watch our own health and we have to have time to write too. And we do. When we're doing shows constantly. That gets to be a very challenging situation. So 
Yeah. Keep in touch with us on this channel for the next couple of weeks. We'll probably end up sitting down and doing a year-end video to mm -hmm. review what we what we ended up facing this year, what we're phasing out, what we're bringing in next year, or what we hope to bring in next year, and we'll go over the shows in more detail on that video yes, as well. Yes, definitely. Definitely, because I already uh, just came across a situation just a couple days ago where one of our favorite shows sent the application and finally released the date only for me to discover that I've already booked that weekend solid. So we um, have a little, we have a little work around that we're yeah. got, we've gotten the process nothing's finalized yet. So we'll make sure that we uh, bring that up in that video as well. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm, I'm trying to, as Lady V said, work, do a work around and do a special appearance um, in that area. Uh, I do have to talk to someone I know in that area first and make sure they're okay with it, uh, with me setting up in, in their um, vicinity. vicinity, you know, facility. Facility. So um, we, as soon as I can get that squared away, we will definitely let you know the details. But mm. yeah, these things happen. It, it uh, does, it does. It's getting harder and harder because these shows are scheduling out. So early, far in advance. Yes, yeah, so far in advance. Uh, you know, Galaxy Con for July of next year, we literally paid for that spot before we ever even walked out the door from last, mm -hmm. you know, this year's show. Christmas uh, Carousel. Christmas was the Carousel. Same way. I had to, to leave a, a nice deposit in order to guarantee my spot for next year. So, yeah, these, um, these shows are getting earlier and earlier. Um, Ocean Isle was another one. The application yeah. for next year, they were going, get the money in. We need, you know, we need payment immediately. Well, and then we have two that have just popped up this month as well uh, for next year. Mm -hmm. Well, those I had signed up for, and now they're calling, they're, you know. Now so, they're asking for payment. They're, now they want to ask me for payment. I'm like, you really had to wait until December to hit me up for payment, <laughs> the, you know, the month that I have no money because it it's all going on January. Christmas. <laughs> But just, never just mind. Just put one up by one month, please. <laughs> uh, that's that's show life. Uh, it that's is. what you have to deal with. So, anyway, in closing, if you're in the Raleigh area, come see us Saturday. Otherwise, feel free to hit our website up if you're looking for any Christmas gifts for your geeky friends. Yeah. Um, we do have some statues left. We've got a full. Most of our mugs are still in stock. Uh, they're getting running a little low, but we've still got most of them. And we still have books. We're running a few. A low on a few, <laughs> but yeah, we still do have books. So, and, and we've got more of those on the way. Hey, soon, I, I've so. got a backup plan. If we run out of the right girl plan, we'll just sell you the, the large print. Yes, we do have the large no print. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. We got it. So until next week, we hope you have a great day. <laughs>